Arjun Amalani, and in this video we're going to be discussing our EMF protection products from Blue Shield. Now, these devices have been developed over the last 30 years, and if you're not familiar with the product line, uh, definitely go check out blueshield-us.com. That's Blue Shield with no E, blueshield-us.com. And we have a lot of animal research, human studies, and a lot of information, interviews, uh, content about this particular algorithm, the microprocessor technology. And basically, uh, we go into a lot more detail about how this technology works. In this video, I'm going to be covering the different options and which may be more suitable for your particular situation. Now, we have two main categories. We have the home units or the powered uh, wall plug-in units, and then we have the portable units. These two devices um, are very greatly in strength, meaning the plug-in units it can have the voltage stepped up quite a bit to where these are a lot more powerful of a signal. And then the portables are designed to keep your body in train when you're outside of your protective zone. So the basic entry level plug-in device is called the plug-in. And this is the device that's made out of a um, polymer. So it's like a plastic casing. And it just has the uh, circuit board and the microprocessor and everything. So it's very lightweight. It's easy to travel with. Um, and it's about six times more powerful than the portable devices. The Cube, in my opinion, is the best all-around home unit. So if you live in a house and you're exposed to more than four or five Wi-Fi signals, if you live within two miles of a cell tower and you have smart meters and things like this on your house, then the Cube, if it's within budget, uh, is the ultimate choice, in my opinion. It's great for family houses and larger size houses. Uh, the Ultra is designed more for um, office buildings, warehouses, uh, uh, places where you have banks of smart meters or you have just a lot of electromagnetic radiation in the environment. These devices are um, pretty much overkill for home use, but they can be used if somebody has become sensitized to it. Um, these home devices have an acclimation period of about 8 to 14 days. And what this means is that within that 8 to 14 days, the body will start seeking out the signal in the environment and then tuning to it through a process called sympathetic resonance. So it's pulsing a field every 30 seconds like you might see on this ultra down here. And so every 30 seconds it's creating multiple pulsed waves, uh, scalar waves, uh, that have uh, millions of frequencies within the human responsive range embedded into them and they're delivered to the body at the cellular level in a way that we experience frequencies in nature. So essentially what it's doing is it's taking how we experience these frequencies in nature and amplifying it um, enough to where it can compete with the EMF. The beauty of this technology is that it works at the cell level. This is a really important key factor, which we explain in more detail on our website if you want to go check that out. But what's really fascinating and, and why I really want to expound upon this, when we're exposed to signals in the environment that are repetitive and not natural, or what we call non-native EMF, uh, it doesn't move in a way, the amplitude doesn't oscillate, it doesn't change in a way that everything changes in nature. So this dynamic microprocessing technology never stimulates your body with the same combination of frequencies twice, with the same amplitude twice, and this, these scalar waves are able to delivered over time and space without losing power over distance like traditional Hertzian waveforms are. So these are very um, these are very potent devices in the sense that they're able to entrain with the body and the body stops responding to the EMF. It doesn't change anything or modify any of the EMF in the environment. What it does is it stimulates your body in a way to where your body stops perceiving the EMF as a threat. This is a big deal because that's where a lot of immune power goes to most of the time. And some people have, you know, are genetically gifted and they, you know, have a lot more robust immune systems, better genetics, things of this nature, so they can feel fine for a lot longer in life. But some people are on the edges of those that bell curve and, you know, they have some severe immune compromisation. And when the immune system is compromised to that degree, um, they feel the effects of EMF more than just say an average person would. Um, so when the body stops attacking or trying to fight the EMF, which we see in the cow studies, especially with the uh, somatic cell count normalizing after plugging the blue shield in, um, which the somatic cell counts are an immune response to like a pathogen or uh, the, when the body ramps up immunity to try and fight something off, like a cold, flu, virus, something like that. Um, the somatic cell are inflammation markers that we can measure that basically came down to within normal range after plugging in Blue Shield for about 8 to 10 days um, on animals. So animals can't have a placebo effect, so it had a really nice um, 
study there with that one. So the body reallocates the immune power that it would otherwise use on fighting off EMF and it starts healing the body um, you know, in, in order of priority and just creates a massive cellular vitality in the system. So these devices are what you want to plug in your house um, and get used to. And then the portables are something that you want to use when you're outside of your protected zone. So when I fly, when I go to the store, or if I go to, you know, just run basic errands or go to meetings, I always have the portable on me. And this particular portable is, a, is an alloy frame. Um, you hold the button down, it's super simple, and then the lights light up on the left-hand side, and it starts flashing a pulse. Again, it's not on all the time. It's gonna be flashing a pulse every 30 seconds or so. And that's just kind of an ideal ratio of, of uh, timing to um, create the best response on the cellular level and have the body, uh, physical body respond to it. The disc is a um, really great option for people who are athletic, that are hikers, um, at going to the gym where they're sweating, uh, they're out in the elements and potentially getting in the rain. This is a lot more water resistant, it's drop proof, and it also is fantastic for kids. Um, we use it on our kids and we make a little necklace because this thing will pop out so you don't have to use the, the watch attachment. You can use a, a little ring that we provide uh, and basically acts like a pendant. So that's really great for kids. And the other feature is that it's a magnetic charger. The magnetic charger attaches here and the they, children can't shut it off. So there's no on off button on it, it's always going. So about every six, seven, eight days or so, I have to plug this one in uh, for my kids. But yeah, it goes for several days without a charge. And then uh, because I shut this one off when I come into my house, um, this one will last weeks on one charge, uh, usually six, seven, eight weeks at times. So um, that's basically the, the overview if you're looking for EMF protection, your key go-to are going to be the um, home units, and then the portables are going to be a secondary because they're strong enough to keep the body entrained when you're outside of this field, but they take quite a bit longer to get that entrainment process happening if you're only using these devices. Not to say they won't work, it's all the same code, algorithm, um, the same type of technology, it's just you know, you're getting six times the power in a plug-in, and then you're getting double that power with a cube and double that power with an Ultra. So I hope you found this useful. Um, if you have any questions on which product that you think is best for you, feel free to contact us at blueshield-us.com. We'll definitely talk to you soon. Take care.